Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna show you my office tour for 2021. Let's get into it. So my home office is a really important part of my life. Honestly, I spend a ton of time here between doing a lot of working from home and just working on my YouTube channel. And I guess I use it for a little bit of fun as well. So I kind of have my MacBook set up over here where I do creative work. And then over here, I kind of have my gaming set up, get some games in of like Call of Duty and stuff like that for fun. So I wanna walk you guys through the entire space and let's just start over here on this side. Okay, so the first thing you notice when you walk into my home office is I have a mini fridge. You guys probably notice in a lot of my videos, I drink a lot of energy drinks. It's kind of just become a part of my life and just kind of a funny character of my channel. I got everything in here from Ghost Energy to 3Ds, to actually some other ones I'm trying out as well and gotta have some sparkling waters up there. So I think today we're gonna go with the uh, Ghost Energy, the Sour Patch Kids Blue Raspberry. Very good. Actually, fun fact, I'll actually just say it. Um, in this video, why not? I actually started a second channel where I'm actually reviewing energy drinks. So I'll have it linked up above and down in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. Just a fun little hobby for me. Also, I forgot to mention that everything I talk about in today's video, every single item here in my office, I'm gonna take the time and try to link them all in the description below. If you guys like anything you see and you wanna pick one up for yourself, but let's just move on down the line and jump into my gaming setup here. Now, this is honestly not getting as much use these days, but this is my gaming PC that I built about two years ago now. It has a 2080 graphics card. It has an i9 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, fully decked out with like the RGB from Corsair. Uh, that thing was actually a pain in the ass to build. It took me like eight hours in the middle of the night, but we're done with it. It looks good. These days, I'm honestly gaming more just casually. It's a cool way for me to stay in touch with some of my high school friends. It's just a thing to do in some of the evenings. But I do think I wanna test some things out as far as editing goes on the PC because this thing is pretty powerful um, and I wanna get some more use out of this setup. As you guys see, I have a dual monitor setup. I have an Asus 27 inch. I picked this up a couple years ago. It's like a one millisecond delay. It's a pretty good gaming monitor and it's pretty budget friendly. On the side, I decided to just throw up a vertical monitor. It's just an older LG one, nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done so I can have like chat and things like that open at the same time. As far as the peripherals go, I have an Astros A40 headset. Um, I have the Razer Naga uh, mouse over here. And then I have the Glorious PC Gaming Race keyboard. Nothing too crazy. That's just kind of the setup I'm rocking in these days. The desk itself is actually from Ikea. I have a couple sawhorse legs on either side, um, which are like 15 bucks. And then this tabletop is also from Ikea. I think it's like 25 bucks. So in total, you're rocking like a $60 desk setup and it's just kind of perfect. Um, and then also this is actually an Ikea chair. So this entire thing is honestly pretty budget friendly other than the custom built PC but uh, that's obviously the most important part to me. So the next part of my office is kind of the shelves and the artwork in the back. So a big part about my home office is obviously I film a lot of YouTube videos. So it was really important to me to kind of have a set. Um, I have kind of like my main angle that I shoot a lot of my videos. So it was important for me to have a cool looking background that not only serves as storage, but also their items I can use in my videos as well. So on my shelves, cameraman, you can come a little closer here. Uh, I just have some items that um, are honestly just kind of like interests of mine or things that I'm into. So I have everything from obviously energy drinks to sneakers. I'm big into basketball. Um, I just have speakers, a couple books here. Um, these are my favorite sneakers of all time. I feel like I always get comments on these. And Visual Watts, dude, I told you I would uh, mention these in my video, but these are my off-white blazers. Honestly, it's a piece of artwork, so gotta have it up on the shelves and on the wall, you know? But I actually did wear these once in a video, so yeah, love those. But yeah, really the shelves are just kind of like a mix of things. Honestly, I need to get some cooler decorations on the shelves, if I'm being honest. But as far as some of the artwork goes in this office, uh, just a couple pieces I wanna touch on. I have a Mac Miller canvas from an Ohio artist here. I have my Ohio against the world flag up here because I'm from Columbus and Ohio. Gotta have the Jim Helpert uh, slam poster, which is pretty cool. Uh, more sneakers. And then this poster up here I made when Kobe Bryant passed. 
I just threw it together in Photoshop, had it printed out on a canvas, um, and it's just kind of a cool reminder for me. Uh, honestly, it sounds kind of cheesy, but when I'm sitting here editing sometimes, this quote just kind of helps push me to try to just get going and move on to the next thing and get stuff done. So uh, super cool quote, uh, love that thing. And while we're over here, I wanna talk about some of the lighting. So you guys, um, I've actually received some questions about these different lights in some of my YouTube videos because you see them in the background. Um, they are both made by LifeX. So I have this LifeX beam up here, which is cool. You can kind of make it any shape you want. And then these are the LifeX tiles over here. They're definitely not the cheapest lights out there, but they're pretty cool. Um, you can control everything from their app. You can change the color of them. Honestly, a lot of times I just keep them white, but if you want to, they have a bunch of different themes on here. You can click it and it just changes the light to be a bunch of different things. So it's super cool. Like I said, they're definitely not cheap, but they're kind of a good investment if you have a home office and you're gonna spend a lot of time in here. And since we're on the topic of lighting, let me just tell you about the actual lights that I use to record my videos in here. Um, this one is actually from Godox. This is the XL. The SL60W, it's actually a super budget friendly light. I wanna say it's $150 or something like that. Again, it'll be linked down below. And then I decided to get this Aperture Lantern on top. It's kind of a cool light. Um, honestly, I don't get a lot of natural light in my office. So I wanted to add a second light in here to just kind of get some more ambient lighting. And also it can be used as a hair light in my YouTube videos. So this light combo right here, the lantern I think was around 200, the light was around 150. So you're talking like around three to $400, depending on how much they are currently on Amazon, which is a super killer light combo um, if you're on a budget or honestly for anybody. Because on the opposite side of things, I have the Aperture 120D Mark II with the Light Dome Mark II on it. It's probably the most well-known light in the YouTube space because people like Peter McKinnon made it uh, so popular, but it's for a good reason. It's really nice, it comes with a remote, but that light is going to be around, I think $750. The Light Dome is around 250. So that's more of like a $900, $1,000 setup versus that other one I have is more of like the $400 range or below. So both are good to have, but it's kind of good to know that there's some other budget options out there as well. But I do love that light. I use it all the time. That's always my key light in my YouTube videos. All right, so moving on from the shelving and some of the lighting here in my office um, is my main piece of storage. It's this Husky workbench. I actually picked this up from Home Depot. Um, and this is a really cool pickup. Shout out to actually Matt Day, another fellow Ohio YouTuber. I saw him put one of these in his office and it just totally makes sense because a lot of people use these for tools and everything like that, but it's kind of the perfect thing to have camera gear in here. So inside I have everything from camera accessories to lenses to lens cloths to just some boxes and storage and things like that. Um, because honestly, one of the things I want to mention about my home office here is kind of a unique home office and you guys might not be able to see in my YouTube videos, but it's actually just an extension of my living room. It's actually, I think, intended to be a dining room. So it's not like a extra bedroom or anything like that. So I don't have a closet for storage or anything. So that's kind of why I try to make the most use that I can out of like my Husky workbench and some of my shelves and things like that because I really don't have any storage. So it's hard to keep this space clean. I do the best I can, but having some stuff like this uh, is really nice to keep your camera gear clean, keep it secure. This actually locks up too. So if someone had to come into my uh, apartment to do something for maintenance or whatever, uh, I can keep my expensive stuff locked up. So super cool piece right here. Um, you guys actually, I forgot to even mention, I have this Sony a7S III on top of it right now. Uh, I'm kind of testing this thing out. Uh, you guys, by now, there should be a video out that I've shot with this, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, this workbench, it's super cool, but let's go ahead and move down to where I spend most of my time here in my office, and that is my main desk setup. All right, so my desk setup is super important to me. This is honestly where I spend most of my time during the day, I guess, and at nighttime too. The first piece I just wanna mention so I can get it out of the way is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. Um, they actually sent this out to me uh, not too long ago and I've really liked it so far. I do plan on doing a full review on it. Um, and it also has some hair for my long hair German Shepherd. So that's nice too. So let's go ahead and uh, just get this out of the way. Moving on. 
So I actually just dropped a full desk tour for 2021. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I will have it linked up above and in the description below. But that was a very in-depth video talking about every single item in here. But I do want to kind of briefly tell you guys about some of the stuff in my setup in this video as well. So the desk itself is from Ikea. It's just a butcher block style tabletop that I picked up uh, about a year and a half ago. Down low, we have a couple Alex drawers that I just use for storage for all sorts of stuff. Uh, mostly snacks. Grovemade actually sent me some products for some desk accessories like this walnut riser here. Um, I have this cool felt wool uh, desk pad, which is nice. I'm not like clunking around my mouse anymore and it looks really cool in photos. They also sent out this uh, MacBook Pro stand, which I actually have to flip my MacBook Pro upside down because of the ports on it. So it looks a little funny. Um, and then also this Grovemade tray for just some accessories and stuff like that for when I'm working. And since I mentioned the MacBook, I am rocking the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Uh, I love that thing so far. I just need Premiere Pro to be updated for the M1s, but that thing is an absolute powerhouse and I've been loving it so far. Up top, I have this LG Ultra Wide. I've been absolutely loving having an Ultra Wide for editing videos. It's just really nice to be able to have your editing timeline all the way across of it. Uh, it's just easier for me to get stuff done and just kind of see everything at once. So now that I have an Ultra Wide, I don't know if I can ever go back to not having one, but yeah, I love that thing. And then I just have a couple other accessories on here. I have an Amazon Echo because I just always ask her to do stuff for me. Um, I have an Anchor wireless charger, which is nice just so I'm working here and just set my phone down to the side. And then this is actually my work computer. That is a Mac Pro. It's the old trash can and uh, yeah, it is trash. And then one other thing I like to have with my desk setup, you guys see up here, it's just a couple post-it notes that are kind of important things to me. Uh, some of these things actually made it from my last apartment. Um, and then actually this 10K subscribers, that's been up there since like 200 subs and we're actually coming uh, pretty close to it these days. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, just a couple cool things that are important to me, but kind of in addition to my desk setup, because like I said, I film a lot of my YouTube videos here and that's probably what you guys are familiar with. Um, I just kind of keep a tripod here over to the side. That's usually where my camera is sitting. And then I have just a cheap Amazon boom arm for my microphone, which I actually mount this microphone just on top is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Uh, it's a pretty good microphone, and if you boom it, it sounds just as good as an XLR shotgun microphone to me, in my opinion. Um, and then I already mentioned the Aperture 120D here. But something I've learned, especially in the YouTube space, is if it's difficult for you to get set up to make a video, is you're not really gonna be motivated to film it. So if I can at least have a couple of things already set up and ready to go, and I can just kind of hit record on my camera, it really kind of speeds up the process and it kind of gets you over that hump of maybe when you aren't feeling like getting down to create something. So definitely recommend if you have a space if you can keep anything set up and kind of out of the way, it definitely helps out a lot. All right guys, so that is really it for my office tour for 2021. Like I said, I spent a ton of time in this space, so it's really important for me to kind of have a place that I enjoy being at, surrounded by things that I really enjoy and kind of inspires me all the time. So this is always kind of a work in progress. That's honestly why it took me so long to make this video because I'm always changing things or buying something new to switch something out with. Um, but at this point, I think it's pretty much set up and I am not gonna be in this office for way too much longer. As I mentioned, everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked down in the description below. And also be sure to check out my full desk setup tour for 2021 if you guys want a more in-depth look at where I spend most of my time. But guys, I think that's gonna be it for me in today's video. If you did enjoy it, will you please drop it a thumbs up and also subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I notice each and every single one. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Peace, guys. Thank you.